Good Sunday! What are we doing today? Well, you might have seen last week I made some carne asada and I broiled it in the oven using a water broiler method. Not my idea. We're going to talk about that today. Let's talk about the water broiler. Ooh. Oh! Now these are DIY. Yeah, last week I made some carne asada. I wanted to make it in my oven. I don't have an outdoor grill, but I didn't want to smoke up the apartment and set the alarm off. There's a man named Drannan. I think that's how you pronounce it. D-R-A-N-N-A-N? Drannan? And he invented it in the late 60s. He's been selling it since the 70s. It is still sold today. He's selling them for $75 each. But it comes with something called a forkula, which is a wire barbecue spatula forky thing. And, you know, if you think about it, it's not that bad, the price. All stainless steel his is. He doesn't sell one that's 10 inches. This is actually a little 9 and 3 quarters. This is supposed to be 10 inches. It's 9 and 3 quarters. This says 9 and a half inches. It's 9 and 3 quarters. I got this off eBay. It's a chef's signature. I really like it. And what's really good about this versus his is this has an aluminum bottom, so I can actually use this and this on the stove. This was $12 off Amazon, stainless steel. It's got these little, little feet, and somehow I got lucky. If you angle, if you set the feet over the rivets, it locks in place. That's so amazing. It's like perfect. Boy, did I get lucky with that one. This was $20. Stainless steel. We'll get to that in a second. This is a 12 inch Tools of the Trade saute pan. I wanted it because it had the handles. It's deeper than I would like. I'm not quite sure what rack I'm going to use in the oven. This I actually had to cut. So, you know, there's some DIY. I had to cut the bar off here and the bar off that side so that it would fit on the pan, but it locks in. It's locked in. I know, TMI. Still, pretty cool. What you do is you add water. You add water to the pan and the fat drips down into the water and hence you have no smoking. That is so cool. I think it's time to stop yapping. Let's make a hamburger. So, 
Final thoughts. We're gonna have to cook some ribeyes on this guy. I'm not sure about this grid for hamburgers. I think this would be good for like pork belly, some Korean pork belly and something that won't fall apart too easy because there's so much grid. So maybe if I can find some kind of a straight grid for this guy. I think we can put a lot of things on here, broil a lot of things. Either way, very easy to clean. Drannon says that in his video. I will put his links below in case you want to buy one of his pans. I like to tinker. That's why I did this. I'm going to have to learn timing and broiling because I'm not used to using a broiler for cooking anything. Thanks for joining me this Sunday. Thanks for watching.